Hey everybody, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Again, I apologize for being gone for so long, but I am back. <laughs> I thought I would do another one of my what's in my kids Easter basket videos. I did this last year and it just turned out really cute and it's really cute memories for me so it's kind of just selfish. <laughs> but I thought with Easter two weeks away that you guys might need some good ideas for what to put in your Easter baskets so I will get into it. If you're new here, my kids are about 20 months old now. They are twins, a boy and a girl, so I have a boy basket and a pink girl basket. I got these last year at Pottery Barn. Feel free to watch that video if you have littler ones that are just a few months old and you want ideas for little baby Easter baskets. But I absolutely still love these. Um, I actually got the basket at our local Kroger store and it was a lot, a lot less expensive than the Pottery Barn baskets. And then I did get the Pottery Barn liners that are decent spendy but they will use them for years and years and they have their little names let's see if it'll focus for you embroidered on the ear so my son's name is Everett and my daughter's name is Amelia and I still just love them they're super soft and I know this year they'll be super excited because they are very very well aware of things we've had lots of different holidays now so I can show them that this is an Easter bunny they'll like that it's nice and soft Amelia has been loving her stuffed animals lately she gives them hugs and kisses and takes them for rides on her little scooter so it's really cute so I'm actually really excited to give them their Easter baskets this year I don't know about you guys, but I have been enjoying doing Easter baskets more than like Christmas. I don't know why. I think it's because Christmas, like they get stuff from a lot of different family members and everybody. This is like just from the Easter bunny. Just happens at your house, unless you have some grandparents that also do Easter treats and things like that, which I'm sure their grandparents will too. But I just think it's super fun because you get to have so much fun doing it and just making their morning so magical. Um, so for their Easter baskets, I got, I found these cute little dinosaurs. They're super into dinosaurs right now. They have the Baby Shark song, the T-Rex song from Pink Fong on replay all the time. So they love that. And I found these at Target. Brother has one, sister has one. They were $1.00. And it's a pink dinosaur. Now she plays with her brother's toys all the time. He plays with her toys. I'm not like super into, he has to play with his only boy stuff and she has to play with her girl stuff. They share all the time. They're twins. They're the same age. They love everything. But I always think it's so cute when there is a girl version of like a boy toy like dinosaurs why can't girls like dinosaurs girls like dinosaurs too they're cool so I love that there's a pink dinosaur and if you've been following my videos for a while you know that I love like girl dinosaur stuff so Amelia has had girl dinosaur stuff like whenever I can find it I just think it's the cutest thing so I was super excited to find that one dollar pink dinosaur for Amelia and then they're loving their kitchens they got play kitchens for um Christmas and they totally love it because they also have helper stools for me at the counter so they're watching mommy and daddy cook and grandma cook and so I found these at the dollar store now Melissa and Doug has a actual big like cutting fruit and vegetable kit that I might get them when they're a little bit older but these were dollar store items if the dog gets a hold of it no big deal it's really cute just to stick in the Easter basket and it's just super cute so the fruit velcros together and they can use a pretend knife to cut it so I really like that I thought that was super cute and then I also got these at the dollar store they are little um jelly bean jars or gumball jars I'm gonna put jelly beans in them I didn't yet because I don't want the jelly beans to like go bad or go stale or whatever so I'll fill them up like when we get closer to Easter but it's still like two and a half weeks away or whatever um and then our kids if you've also been following our channel are dairy free 
Everett, my son, he does not have any intolerances that we know of, but we keep him dairy-free and egg-free and all of that for the most part because Amelia can't have dairy, eggs, or soy. We cut out nuts for a long time too, but we've reintroduced nuts and she's done well with them. And so we don't, they like steal each other's food all the time and feed each other from their high chairs. It's really cute. But so we just don't feed it to Everett because we don't want Amelia to get a hold of it. She is anaphylactic EpiPen style to egg. Soy just really, really upsets her stomach. She doesn't, she didn't test for like an actual soy allergy, but she gets really bad stomach pains whenever she accidentally has soy. And then, um, what's the other one? Dairy. She We've dabbled in dairy here and there for her just to like try to reintroduce it and it's always after like a few days of introducing dairy she ends up getting a stomach ache. So I hear that the dairy protein takes a little bit longer to get in your system to upset their stomach. So we might trial dairy again with her. We'll see. But anyway, I'll do a whole nother video on her allergies. I keep saying that, but I really need to because it's been a whirlwind of the last year and a half dealing with trying to figure out what she can and can't have and what I could, can and couldn't have with breastfeeding. Anyway, rant over. I found these really cute veggie chips. These are cool because they are soy free. So a lot of the chips, a lot of the snacks, like even baby snacks and stuff have soy. So they can have these veggie chips and they really like them. So I found really cute ones that are Easter egg shaped. Those are from Target. And then, um, what other snacks did I find them? Oh, let me go get the other snacks I found them. Okay, so like I said before, I found them a bunch of different snacks that are allergy friendly, but I haven't completely put their Easter baskets fully together yet because we're still a few weeks away and I knew I was going to do this video, take everything out and rearrange it anyway. So I haven't like set them all up and made them super pretty yet, but I will show you all the little snacks that I got that are allergy friendly. This is what the veggie chips bag looks like at Target if you end up getting it. Individual ones, so I'm just throwing a few individual ones in their basket. Sorry, that's super loud. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it. Then, the Annie's Bunny Grams are also dairy free. So I usually let them snack on these, they're cookies, so they don't eat them all the time. But I found um, Neapolitan flavor one, it's a limited edition, this was also from Target. And I just thought it was super cute cause it's like pink and browns and just Easter bunnery colors. So I got these and I'm going to fill those in the little eggs. I actually got these eggs last year I think they're also from Target um, and they're all different colors. They're like the light pastel colors. I just thought they were super cute. So I'm going to fill a few of these eggs with their bunny grams. And again, I'm going to do that a little later so they don't go stale or anything. I'll probably do that like the night before or something. And then this Made Good brand is also a really good brand for allergy friendly stuff. They have granola bars, um, little bite sized granolas. They have... I don't know, just lots of different snacks, usually granola bars, but it's like a bunch of different flavors. So these are chocolate drizzled mini granola bars that are all allergy friendly and they're just cute in a pastel Eastery color. So I'm going to put a few of these in their basket too. Okay, so back to their basket stuff. So that's like the food snacks that I'm gonna do, the jelly beans and then all of those. And then, I found these at Target. They were $3 each. So all the little toys that I got them were really inexpensive. I already have a giant thing of bubbles that I fill up their little lawnmowers with. So, so these also came with a little thing of bubbles and they're just, they're little gun blowers. Um, I just think they're going to have so much fun with this. They love bubbles. They love their little lawnmower bubbles. So I know that they're really going to like these. Everett's is a little shark and Amelia's is a flamingo. So then bunny ears. My sister actually gets them little holiday headbands every single year or every holiday from the dollar store. She's been doing it like all the all holiday season long and they have been loving them and every time they see a headband they're like auntie auntie so 
Hopefully I'm not stealing her little holiday gift, but I feel like every kid has to have a set of bunny ears in their Easter basket. So these were super cute. They're also from Target, the dollar spot section. I think they were a dollar. Yep, they were one dollar. So they're really cute. They have, of course, like more expensive, nicer ones or more aesthetic ones, but I thought these were just fine and they're cute. So I got those. The only thing that I haven't gotten yet that I might do, my mom did for us every single year, was she got my sister and I a stuffed bunny rabbit toy, but we like ended up with all of these stuffed animals that we never played with or touched, but Amelia has been really liking stuffed animals lately, so I'm, I might get them a stuffed bunny. I don't know. We'll see. So I also got jammies. These are non-footed pajamas, pajamas, <laughs> non-footed pajamas from Costco. It's nice. It's a two pack. They're super inexpensive. I think they're like 10 or 12 bucks for two sets of jammies. Ever got a shark. And then Amelia got these cute little princesses. The reason I like the non-footed is because now that they're older and they're running around so much, they are always getting holes in the little footy pajamas or they slip and slide. Even the ones with the grips, they slip and slide all over our hardwood floors. So I liked that these ones have no little footies on the bottom, but they're still long sleeves because it's Oregon and it's still cold well into like June here. Okay, so books. I did spend a little bit more on books for them. I didn't get like $1, $2, $3 books like I did last year, but they love reading. We read to them every single night. We made that a part of their bedtime routine since they were teeny tiny. And so now Amelia's really cute and she'll sit there and she'll like read her book herself. You might've seen that on Instagram if you follow me. Um, and she'll just like talk in her own little language and read her books and Everett too. He'll just sit and they'll look at books for a long time. So I got her this really fun Disney book they love Mickey and Minnie Mouse and it's from Costco it like just does all these cute little shapes and then it also has like flying unicorns on it which I just thought was really cute so yeah this was $8.50 so not super spendy but it does make the basket cost a little more than like the dollar store items that I got and this was also $8.50. It is a um, farm book with all the different farm animals. They can click them and... <laughs> Sorry, did not plan on clicking one, but there you go. It has the real life picture of the animals, which I really like. Um, a lot of the books have the toy or the cartoon picture of the animal but I like that this has the real one and then the real sounds so that they can really learn and my mom shows them like videos of National Geographic like real animals and stuff so that they are learning all the animals and the sounds and everything so I know that they'll really like this book. That's on Amelia's side. So for Everett he loves singing. Oh <laughs> Okay, I'm really not meaning to. <laughs> okay, how do I turn it up? There we go. I'm really not meaning to click the buttons. But anyway, this is a Coco Melon book. They both love Coco Melon so, so much. It's on all the time, every morning. So they'll both love this. These books are for them to share, but yeah, they'll both love this book. And then I also got Everett a real version storybook but this one's it's kind of scary like a lot of the dinosaurs that he plays with are like play dinosaurs or cartoons these ones look more real um which I liked but they're kind of scary looking so anyway he has this he loves making the rawr sound when he's playing with his dinosaurs and so I know he's really gonna like this book it has all the different sounds and so the last thing I'm gonna put in their Easter baskets which I haven't opened yet because I don't want them to fall or break or anything like that are these cute dinosaur chalk pieces there is I think 
four for each kid. Yeah, there's eight of them. So they'll each get four in their Easter basket. And this was from Walmart. I was shopping for a friend's kid's birthday and I found these. I got these for him, but I thought they were so cute. I had to get them for the kids too. I don't see a price on here anymore, but I want to say they were not expensive. Like maybe like six bucks or something. I don't remember, but I know that a lot of people always do chalk in the Easter baskets because it's like a springtime, summertime activity for outside. So I've seen like lots of different cute Easter chalk. Like I've seen bunny shaped Easter chalk and just like packs of chalk and just lots of cute chalk. So it was really hard not to like load their baskets up with more chalk, but I think this will do just fine. And it, it's so cute. I just... I love them so much. Can you tell I love dinosaurs? I'm trying to get them more into liking dinosaurs so we can do like a dinosaur party sometime. But yeah, they're just so cute. I love pink dinosaurs. So anyway, that is what's in the kids' Easter baskets this year. I forgot. <laughs> so I also usually attach like one big item. Well, I say usually. It's I've only had them one year. But what I plan to do is attach like a bigger item with the baskets. And so I got for Everett a little t-ball set. He loves playing with all his balls. He has like a little basketball hoop he got from his uncle for Christmas. And he has just like those big rubber balls that they got at like the store one time. I just let them have it. And so he just kicks it around outside and... So I got him a little t-ball set. I think he'll really like it. He swings stuff around all the time. So this will teach him like, no, this is the bat. You can only swing things around when you're playing outside. So for Amelia, I'm trying to decide. I found this really cute soccer ball that has a bunny on it. And so it would go with the same theme, outdoor toys and sports. So I thought about getting her that as, as her big gift but she also loves playing with her baby dolls. They both do. I got them, well, Santa got them twin baby dolls from Melissa and Doug for Christmas, and they are so cute. One is brown-eyed boy, just like Everett, and one is a blue-eyed girl, just like Amelia, so I just thought that was a cute thing. So I um, was thinking about getting Amelia a either a little stroller or a baby doll bed for her other little gift. Um, I can't decide because the baby doll bed is like, it's a twin bed. Of course, they both need a bed. It's a little more expensive. I think it's like 40 bucks, which I don't mind. But if I'm like trying to be like, okay, we don't want to spend tons on Easter. Like Easter is usually supposed to be just a few fun things. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling again, but leave a comment down below on which item you think I should get Amelia. The soccer ball to keep with the sports theme like Everett's toy or should I go a totally different direction and get her something for her baby doll? Okay, well anyway, that is it now. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and checking back in with our family. Um, we are definitely planning on posting once a week from this day forward. <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you lots more updates. So check back, hit subscribe, and like this video if you got some good ideas. So thank you so much. I'll see you later.